Hi YouTube, welcome to the MA Academy Python Challenges tutorial series. In this tutorial, I will show you guys how to decode a hex file. So hex files can be in two different formats. I will cover both of them. So in here, if you see, for this tutorial, we will see how to convert this file. So in here, you can see that this is a hex file. Currently, it contains only one line, but it can contain hundreds or thousands of lines. It doesn't matter. For simplicity's sake, I'm using just only one line in here. So you can see that uh, these are hex characters or hex values, but this is only one format. Hex files can be in this format as well. So each one of them, you can see this that preceded by a backslash and text. And if you want to know how to convert it into plain text English, watch my next tutorial. For this one in here, you will see how to convert this file into plain text English. So we will be using the codex module for this tutorial. So in here you can see that I'm importing it. So I see import codex to import this file or this module, sorry. Next, we print it, right? So in here, this print function in here we use to print and we are saying use the codex module. So this is the module that we imported. And then we are saying you use the decode function of that module. So what do you want to decode? We want to decode 6D. So if we go in here, you can see that the first two characters or the hex value in here is 6D. So we want to decode it, right? So we say type in 6D as the first parameter to this function. The second parameter is the type of value this is. So 6D, this is a hex value. So we specify it in here by typing hex. Next, we are using the decode method and we are saying that decode it. Decode it using what? So in here, we type in UTF-8. So what it does is it decodes it using this UTF-8 character encoding. So 6D stands for M, which we see in here. Next, we are doing the same thing, but instead of reading only 6D, we are reading this string in here. Again, we are saying it's hex, and then we are decoding it using the UTF character set. So in here, you can see that we get the MA Academy, right? Next, we are creating a variable called hex string, and we are passing it this long value or this string in here, long sentence, which is in hex. So we say print it. So in here, again, this time we are passing this hex string, but instead of printing all of it, we are saying print zero and colon two. So what does it mean? We are saying include print only the values zero and up to two, but not including two. So zero, this is the zeroth character, and this is the first character. So what it does, it prints zero and the first one, but not the second one, okay? So it's zero and one. So in here, we can see that we get the value 6D. Again, we are doing the same thing in here, but we are passing it to the function called decode, to the decode function. So in here, you can see that we are using this again, the module, the function, which we have done in here, it's all the same. Again, this time you are passing this hex string, but you are saying just decode the first two characters, which is the first hex value, which in this case is 6D. So in here, you can see that we get the value M. Next, what we do, in here, we are using a for loop to go over all these strings. So in here, we only decoded the first character, right? The first hex value, but we want to go over all the file. How do we do that? Or all of the strings, sorry, in here. We want to go over all this string in here, so we can do it using a for loop. So we say for i and range of len, so this len function, it gives us the length of it. Length of what? The hex string variable. So we can see that this is the hex string variable. It gives us the length of it, how many characters there are in this file. And then we are dividing it by two. So it gives us whatever the length of it is, it divides it by two. Why are we dividing it by two? Because we are reading two character at a time, right? Because hex values, we read it two character at a time because then we translate it or decode it and it gives us these characters. So this in here, as I said, gives us the length of it and this we are dividing it, but we are using these two forward slashes. So these two forward slashes, so when we use one forward slash, when we get the result, it also gives us like a float, a floating point format. So what it means is if you are dividing a number by another number, at the end of it, if there is a decimal point, so to the right of it, it will be like 
4.0 or 5.0 or 3.333 or 2.51 something like that whatever it is to the right side of the decimal character or the right side of the decimal or the point there are values but if you don't want to consider them you can use these two forward slashes this time when you for, uh, divide let's say when you divide 10 by 3 so you will get 3.3333 right so if you're using these two um, uh, forward slashes it divides it but instead of giving us uh, 3.333 and when we are dividing 10 by 3 it will give us only 3 so it truncates or it deletes everything that is to the right side of the decimal point that's why we are using it so we want whole integers we are not interested in floating points right because we cannot read half of this character that's why we are using these two forward slashes next so we are printing it and then we are saying uh, this is the format function we are using it so we are saying print it whatever you read the format and inside the format function we pass in the hex string which is this variable in here which holds this line right next we are using this in here uh, instead of reading first two characters we are reading the whole line in here so how do we do that so the first time i is equal to zero we are saying i multiply by two so this i the first time it's zero so zero multiplied by two is zero so this part becomes zero next it's i multiply by two plus two so i multiply by two is zero zero plus two is two so the first part of it it is zero and the second part of it is two the same as in here zero and two so it reads it it gives us 6d you can see that it, the first two characters are 6d next time it runs i becomes one right so when we multiply i by two it becomes two so the first part this is two next we see i multiply by two so i multiply by two is two two plus two is four so this becomes two this first part the second part becomes four so what it means read the second character and the third character so this uh, it is the 0 6d and d is 1 and this time we are reading 6 and 1 so 2 and 3 but not the fourth one so you can see that we get 6 1 so in here this space that you can see in here it is we are saying that whenever you read two character at the end of it add a space so instead of a space we can also add something like a colon so when we run it you can see that every time you run it instead of one, every time you read two characters we get a colon then two characters then a colon in here you can specify a space a colon or whatever you want this time again we are doing the same thing in here but instead of reading and uh, printing this we are passing it to this codex function so this decodes it from hex to utf8 right so in here you can see that we get this string called MA, sorry, this is string which says MA Academy Python Programming Challenges. After that, we say that we will read the file, right? So how do we read the file? We say with open, whatever the name of the file is. So the name of the file is sample hex file one dot txt. So we saw that the name of the file was that. So if I open it, so this is the file. So you can see that the name of it is sample hex file one. So we are seeing it read it. And this dash, uh, this R in here, it means that it stands for reading. So we are saying we want to read this file and read it as F. So in here, we create another object or a variable data. And we are saying read whatever is in this file, F. So we can see that F, we are reading this file as F. And we are just saying read it and store it in this variable called data. And in here, we are printing that data. So this is the contents of the file. So let me open it. In here you can see that this is the same as this one in here so it reads it right next what we want to do is we want to decode it we don't need to we don't need we are not interested in the hex values we are interested in the plain text english how do we do that we are reading it again this time we are saying again it's the same but this time instead of printing it as we did in here we are creating another loop so we say for i and range of again it's the length which we discussed previously length of data whatever this is in here take the length of it and divide it by two same as we did previously in here then we are saying print we are using the codex function we are saying decode it whatever the data is 
read two at a time, decode it, and show it in here. So in here, you can see that it gives us the value of, or the string, MA Academy Python Programming Challenges. Now this file, it was quite uh, short. It had only one line, but this line, this file can be hundreds or thousands of uh, lines long. You can do that easily using this program or this script in here. It's quite simple. I explained it all in a very uh, long manner, but I want to explain everything uh, one by one, step by step, so that you guys can understand. You guys could understand everything in here. So I hope uh, you enjoyed it, and if you found this tutorial useful, make sure to share it with your friends. And if you have any questions, suggestions, or recommendations, feel free to put it in the comment section below. And I'll see you guys in the next one.